I personally think it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful way of um, designing something which is futuristic, functional. It's not often I get a chance to, as an engineer, to develop something totally unique and new. This is Flow, the footbridge of the future and the first of its kind on the railway in the UK. Here in the heart of the Shropshire Hills, just outside Craven Arms, the bridge now replaces an extremely high-risk level crossing, boosting public safety and reopening a popular walking route. Flow was designed by a dedicated team of innovators at Network Rail, alongside input from our industry specialists. So where does the name Flow come from? Well, despite reflecting the flowing aesthetic, you've guessed it, it's also an acronym. It's fibre reinforced polymer, lower cost, it's an optimised design for installation and it's a working bridge because we've got monitoring building so it's always telling us what it's doing. Compared to a steel footbridge, the carbon footprint is much lower as no concrete is used. It costs 40% less and installation takes half the time with no disruption to passenger services. Before it closed, this level crossing was one of the most dangerous on the Wales and Borders route. That's because pedestrians didn't have clear visibility of passing trains when waiting to cross due to trains being parked in the loop or the lay-by to the side of the main track. Local rambler Mike is a member of three different walking groups. He stopped by on the last day of construction to tell us the difference flow will make to the local community. It maintains connectivity, um, which is vital really in an area like this because you've got, you've got paths, crossing roads, crossing railways, um, and they've got to be safe. And I think what Network Road has done here uh, is a brilliant job in, in maintaining access but at the same time um, showcasing something for the future. With safety at the heart of this project, it's also a shining example of modern civil engineering. So we built in monitoring to this bridge to not only track its performance but look at its use. If we got evidence it's not needed then this bridge has been designed where it can be dismantled uh, and relocated to a location where there is more demand for it. The versatile design provides many options for future versions of flow, including the addition of ramps for wheelchair, pushchair and bicycle access where suitable. But whatever the need, this prototype has the potential to transform railway crossings, making them safer, more affordable and fit for the future.